is that you have to have a disciplined life. Come on. The Bible says that we are enticed by our what? Our own lust. Not your lust, not this lust, your own lust. We're carried away. And so if you're being carried away, if you if you're being if you're if you're falling to the side, hey amen, it's nobody's fault. You gotta check yourself. And so every day we have to do a, a self-examination of what we do. What is the flesh doing? What is the natural man doing? Because if I can't, we talked about this, and that, I think that was another life-changing message for me. When that natural man really gets right, then the spirit man can rise up. You know, because we try to cover everything, you know, no, over the spirit, and, and we try to live the religious life, amen. And we're really inside, we're empty. We're not whole. Come on. That's good. And so we really get this opportunity. If you're going to come back, amen, and we're glad you're here, but come hungry, come, come yeah. eager. Yeah. The Bible says they that hunger and thirst and the righteousness yeah. yeah. shall yeah. be yeah. healed. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Amen. Y'all been in enough, under enough word? Well, we should say, word. Yvette, you need to be the MC. Oh, Amen. You need to carry the service. That's it. Amen. Sister Dante, come on and pray us through this thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. DIT, MIT, you should be having a message prepared. If we had to leave right now, if we had to go right now. If we said, Prophet and Pastor McClendon, come on, we got to go. Amen. You should be able to get this message out there. Amen. Something that you've heard, something that you've been working on, something that God's been working on you. And one of the things I've learned. For real, for real, is that whenever you preach a message, it's got to hit here first. It's got to hit right here first. Remember he talked about we like doing the, the correct thing, but we don't like to be corrected. How was that? How was that? I was there. I'm good at telling people what to do. I was. I had a, I had a lot of practice. I had 28 years and 11 months of a lot of practice to tell people what to do and to correct them. Amen. But when God really starts correcting you. Amen. And I wrote a post today. I don't know if you saw it, but one encounter with God can change your whole life. You ain't got to have, well, pastor, give me five more months. Give me six more months. You may not have five months. You might not have six months. You need to get in the fire now. You need to get in the fire now. You need to get excited now. You need to get motivated now. Tonight, you should be inspired when you leave here tonight. You should to say, wow, what must I do? Pastor, apostle, is there anything else? What should I be studying? How can I be growing in this area? Amen. We got to confess and we got to repent. But I'm telling you, if you really want to be free, want to be free. If you really want to be free, it's yours for the asking. All right. It's yours for the asking. Amen. And so in these upcoming months, Amen. We're praying for different conferences and we're going different places. Amen. You all got to get ready. Right. Yes. You got to get ready. And, and I ain't trying to be mean, but I heard somebody say, don't be dumb all your life. All right. Right. Don't be stupid all your life. Amen. Amen. We got to leave some of this dumbness behind us. In other words, don't be ignorant all your life. Amen. Don't be a fool all your life. Don't keep making bad decisions all your life. Amen. So on tonight, amen, we're praying that you will be attentive to what the man of God has to say, amen, and how you can take one scripture. If he gives you ten, if you could just take one and apply it to your life. Amen. That's when they, I remember when they first came out with the Life Application Bible. They would have the verses, and on the side, they would show you how to apply that thing to your life. Now this is this is this is life application, guys. This is not church as usual. This is not routine. This is not religious, amen. But this is your life is on the line. Oh yeah, man. Your spiritual life is on the line. Amen. And we need to be resuscitated through the Word of God because the Bible says that the Word of God is what life. Amen. Your spirit and it is life. And so on today, let's get some more light. Let's get the, the fuel. Let's get the tools we need on tonight. Amen. 
God is not impressed by how much you know. He's impressed by how much you live. Yeah. Right. Amen. It's about how much you live and, and how much how much do you how many really want to live right? Amen. Amen. How many Amen. really want to get this yeah. thing yeah. right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And today is the day that we can get this thing right. Amen. Amen. All of us. Yes. Get the new start. We get to hit the restart, the reset. Oh, yeah. Today is our reset button on today. Oh, yeah. Amen. February the second is our reset button. Wow. Amen. So when we come back on here, when we come back on Wednesday, amen. We should be recharged, fired up. Why? Because we got a scripture, or a word of God that's gonna take us through Wednesday and, and, and it should be shown. Amen. Through your evangelism. Amen. 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 If you're excited and igniting, you're on fire, amen. Set somebody else on fire. Amen. Encourage them. Let them know, amen, there is a Savior. Amen. Let them know amen. there's a man of God preaching the word of God. Amen. That cares about your soul. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So on tonight, we're going to ask you to stand, amen, for our very own. Uh,